Turn off autopilot. Do the thrust levers still move themselves? On an Airbus, yes. On a Boeing, not always. This is how auto thrust and auto throttle systems quietly go their own way. Airbus uses auto thrust, and it is independent of the autopilot. You can hand fly the aircraft manually while the auto thrust system keeps controlling engine power. It stays on until you turn it off, either by pushing the auto thrust button or manually taking over with the levers. It is a separate, persistent logic layer. Boeing's auto throttle is more tightly linked to autopilot status. Turn off autopilot and the auto throttle usually disconnects with it depending on mode. To kill it manually, you use the auto throttle arm switch or just grab the thrust levers. Manual movement disengages the system. Airbus philosophy, divide tasks. Let computers handle thrust while the pilot focuses on flight path. Boeing philosophy, if you are flying manually, you control the thrust, unless you explicitly leave it on. It is trust in systems versus trust in pilot judgment. In high workload phases, that like approach or go around, Airbus lets you focus on flying, while auto thrust does the throttle work. In Boeing, you will often fly and throttle manually unless you re-engage it. It is a small difference, until your hands are full. So which would you rather have? A thrust system that stays on until you say stop? Or one that hands over control when the autopilot is off? Auto thrust or auto throttle, your pick.